<laughs> oh, hi. I didn't see you come in. Welcome back to Subnautica. Uh, I did a little bit of a peek behind the curtain. Discovered some really annoying game mechanics, actually. And now it's time for us to go on an exciting treasure hunt, I guess. Uh, there are multiple biomes in this game. And specific biomes spawn specific things. Makes sense so far. Among those things are specific wrecks with specific items and recipes in them. Uh, apparently, items spawn randomly in terms of, like, wrecks and resources and stuff, which I thought made sense. But also, like... Things like the wrecks are limited in what they spawn depending on the biome, which is, was not at all clear to me in any way, shape, or form. I don't know how I would have ever figured that out on my own. Uh, so, essentially, we need to head that way, which is north, apparently, according to this, even though I don't think that's where north is as far as the sun moving. Anyways, we gotta head that way. Uh, we gotta head that way, we gotta head that way. There are multiple biomes. They're not very dangerous, as far as what I've read. Uh, that's probably the most dangerous thing we're gonna be doing for a while, is diving into very shallow water for no reason. Oh yeah, no, that is north. Okay. We, we have the compass, and then we have, like, a thing for another item. Like, we can equip and unequip HUD items. There is one other HUD item in the game. We've seen it already. It's a little scanner thing that I thought was useless because it didn't do anything. But you have to combine that thing and the scanner room and use them together. Which I don't know how I was supposed to figure that out either. Other than the fact that they're both like scanning items. Uh, and if you use either of those on their own, they don't do anything. Which there's just a lot of really obscure mechanics going on for a game. Like a survival game made in the, the mid to late 2000s, right? Like, this feels out of place, right? Or maybe it's it's not out of place, because this is a post-Minecraft world, and you could just have people look things up on the wiki. But I was not expecting to have to do that when I started playing this game. In fact, I, I'm pretty sure I read reviews and watched videos that were like, don't look up anything, just go in blind, it'll be great. And then, sure, it's it's fun up until you get stuck. I don't think there's anything here. I don't know why I'm even trying to explore. We need to find specific biomes. This is just a blood grass biome. I like how I looked up the, all the different biomes and what spawns and what wrecks, and I don't even remember the names of any of them. It's a good sign. This is not where we should be if we're going straight north. Or is it? Uh, no. No, definitely not. Is this what we want? We want the floating islands. And a couple of other different biomes. I guess we'll just keep heading north. Although, we run the risk of hitting the edge of the map. Okay, you know, this is definitely the floating biome. Okay, cool. Is there any oxygen down here? Because I don't feel like going all the way to the surface. We're 200 meters down. I'm not seeing anything. I also don't know how I'm supposed to find a wreck in this biome that's just a bunch of tiny floating islands. I'm seeing a lot of sharks and not much else. Guess we go down. And the flashlights in this game just have the worst drop off. There it is. I, just, I want the light. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if that's realistic or not, but it's not very good for gameplay. I also wish I had a better vehicle, but we lost the Cyclops last episode. We lost the Seamoth a couple episodes back. I don't really feel like making and upgrading another Seamoth, so we're just looking for material. Propulsion cannon fragment. We have the propulsion cannon. We don't need that. 
Is this, is this the wreck? It's just random bits of stuff. Great. This shouldn't be annoying at all. I'm getting close to the island. That's not where I want to be. I feel like maybe I'm not good at following compasses. Oh. I'm on the island. I wasn't even trying to do that. This is not where we're supposed to be. Okay. Uh, let's wait until light so we can actually see where we're going. Maybe I should also pull up the map again. Okay, so the sun is rising and we need to head basically south. Uh, try not to hit a leviathan or a warper on the way. Although if we die, it's not like we have much to lose. We definitely want to get out of this area because this has leviathans in it. I don't really feel safe, just exposed. Yeah, there's definitely something very angry over there. This is what we want. We want these things. Creep vine is a good sign, because as far as I know, creep vine only spawns in these little forests. So, that means we want to follow the edge of this area. And this, these are the islands we want. Okay. Yeah, that's a lot more islands. It's propulsion cannon. Somewhere on these islands specifically is what we're looking for. Are these the same islands as last time? I don't know. Maybe? I don't see any enemies this time. I also don't see anything of use either, so, I mean, there's, seems like there's more of them, or not. Uh, that's a big one. Is there any oxygen down here? Oh, no, but we got other stuff. Okay, now we're talking. Or we would be if I could find anything to scan. Hey, I see you. What are you? Please be something good? Uh, no, that's not no. Okay, well, I mean... I guess that's titanium I don't need to get in the immediate future, but still, it could have been better. Okay, earthen coral tubes. I don't think... Yeah, these, these are indigenous coral tubes. I don't know what you're on about, game. None of these... I, I found a wreck, and it's a sizable one, and I can't find anything to scan. What are the odds? Okay, now you're just messing with me. Okay, sealed door to open. Alright, I had to go up for air and replace a battery. Please tell me there's anything good in here. Nope, okay, great, thanks, game. Uh, hello. Is that just a normal prawn suit arm? Yeah, okay, so I don't want normal prawn suit stuff. I want other stuff, game. I, I came here for a reason. Right, just more titanium. I'm sure that's very useful, game. want a grappling arm. Okay, there's more this way, but we need more air again. Power cell charger, don't need that. Uh, Pronsuit propulsion arm fragment. 
Do I have that scanned already? No. Okay, fine. I'll scan it. Seek fluid intake. Yeah, I didn't bring any food or water with me because I'm an idiot and also because I don't really have a lot of storage when I don't have a vehicle on me. So that's fun. Cyclops parts that I don't need. Uh, a drill arm, great. So the game just spawn random prawn suit parts with like no rhyme or reason. Are, are we actually going to be able to find the parts we need, or is it just going to be like, oh yeah, no, here's another propulsion arm? Another mining arm. We got food. Let's do with water, actually. I think we're gonna have to head home. All right, we are back to the islands. I have food. I have water. Uh, something I've realized on the trip back: this map isn't very big. Like once you take a look at the map, and so it, it's like Subnautica relies on. The player not knowing what's going on and also like fear of the unknown to make the world seem larger than it is and that's not a slight against the game that's a valid tactic uh, Morrowind uses this to great effect along with the worst fog seen since Silent Hill but I digress I can't even tell if these guys are hostile they're technically carnivores, but they never seem to go after me. So I don't think it's going to be in one of these, right? It's a stasis fragment. I think we should be on the lookout for more big wrecks and also just like chunks of prawn suits because apparently those went all over the place. I haven't gone in any of these caves, but I I don't feel like it feels very mean to put scattered wreckage inside a cave, right? They wouldn't do that. That wouldn't make any sense. I, I say, you know, I'm full well that I doubt that they would not do that. They absolutely might. Uh, here, big boy, are you, is this still one of the islands or is this just a place? It's not the mountains and it's not the blood kelp zone, so. Might be the edge of the world. That wouldn't be good. I'd, I'd rather not run into that. Yeah, there's blood. The blood zone. I guess uh, we need to go up for air. Oh, I miss having a vehicle. Straight down into the dark abyss. There's got to be more wreckage, right? I mean, it's, it, it is entirely possible that there is not more wreckage and that we're just going to have to go to another biome to find what we need, which would suck a lot, mainly because all the other places that you can get prawn suit parts are littered with leviathans. So that's fun. Still don't have a thermal suit. I kind of wanted to get the prawn stuff first so that we could actually, like, have a vehicle. That may have been a mistake. May have, that may have been wishful thinking. Alright, new plan. Try not to die to Reaper Leviathans as we scour the area around the quarantine island. Oh, okay, well it's a good thing we're close to the surface. You are part of a moon pool. Great, that's first sign of life we've seen out here. And by life, I mean destruction, but hey. A lot of warpers. It's not great. I 
There's the big boy. There's the facility. It's getting dark, so it's hard to see anything. Hmm. Alright, so the underwater islands and the mountain were both a bust. I looked it up and it can just randomly not spawn there. So we might not even get a grappling hook. That might just not spawn into our game. I mean, I'm sure there's protections against that sort of thing from happening, but the fact that there's no clear answer is not great, truth be told. Uh, not here. We want to head for the blood bank, an area we've actually explored to some degree. Uh, but people on the internet say that there might be a good source of grappling hooks there, so I suppose we'll see. Wow, there are deep mushrooms here. You need to get those pretty early if you know what you're doing. So very dark, I guess because of the canyon walls. Uh, this does mean, however, that I don't think there's any ghosts in this canyon. It's not a very good locale for giant creatures. So that's nice. Uh, we do have warpers, though. Don't know where exactly this wreckage is going to be. A real world logic would dictate it is like up above uh, like alongside the canyon video game logic says it's way down at the bottom and possibly at one of the two ends of the canyon we already saw one end so let's head for the other i guess uh hello wreckage are you a sign of things to come and they're just like a strut huh oh Hello. Okay, let's get some air and then we'll explore this thing. Water in. Uh, and in PDA. Board of Directors. That's incredibly useful. Thank you. Uh, this just looks like a way in or out, maybe? See anything else in here? Okay, what about... This way. Ooh. Ah. Oh. 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 Let's not get too excited yet. How many of these do we need? One out of two. Hey. Okay. Now we're in business. Oh no, I want. There. Oh, I want. Where is it? There you go. Right, let's quickly explore the rest of this and then let's head home. Sonar upgrade. Okay, that actually sounds useful. Yeah, no, here's all the grappling arms. So I guess the game just spawns a number of arms and you, you gotta just luck out with where they spawn. All of my arms spawn in this one wreckage. Which is just, that's, that's, that's bad game design, right? Like, like, so far, most of the problems with this have just been the jank of making a game, you know, game development stuff. It happens, you know, you, you make your open world game with terraforming and then you realize, hey, terraforming doesn't really add a lot to our game, but we can't really get rid of the engine, so we're just going to strip most of the terraforming features and deal with the terrible optimization that it gives us. And that's fine. Like, I haven't complained about that too much. You don't see me whining about the performance of this game or the pop or anything like that. Like, it's there. It's a thing. I mean, I, I, I love Bethesda games. I'm used to terrible game performance. But, uh... The random spawns on top of everything else, just, it's, it's rough. Like, the, the game needs clearer guidance, and maybe, you know, Below Zero has that. Alright, we are 
more full up on blood than a, a joke about Vampire the Masquerade. I don't know. I don't, I don't have anything. I don't. All, all my experience with the World of Darkness is Vampire the Masquerade Bloodlines. And don't get me wrong, it's a good experience. But I can't tell if I'm missing out on it or not. Or if I, or if I like, dodged a bullet there. Then again, my only experience with, like, D&D is Stranger Things and Neverwinter Nights, so I probably definitely dodged a bullet there. Done it! Great! Let's try it out. Uh, I guess, just replace the regular arm. Right, and we have we have depth modules, uh, jumpsuit, and storage. So this thing's this thing's pretty beefy. And that's the left arm. Okay, so left arm is movement. It's not the most range in the world. Oh, but we. <laughs> Oh boy! Okay. Now we're cooking with gas. I can see why everyone recommended this. Not everyone in the comments. You guys suck. You never you guys never talk to me. Why don't we ever communicate anymore? But yeah, no, everyone on the internet was talking about the grappling hook. Let's get back in. Take a nap, get some food, get some water, and then we're off to go get the uh, the thermal diving suit, or the advanced diving suit, as I believe it is called. Alright, so we got two options for the advanced diving suit. One of them is a biome right next to where we just went, a place I've already backtrack to twice in this episode. So we're going to the, to the other option, uh, which is the Bulb Zone, which we are slightly familiar with, at least. And yeah, you can really pick up speed with this thing if you can manage to hit things. So the grappling hook takes a little bit to get used to, but I, I can definitely see how it's like the best movement system in the game. Uh, you can really pick up some momentum. Let's just, let's, let's hope we don't get this thing stuck, like we've gotten everything else stuck. Yeah, we can grapple things too, that's fun. Use a grappling hook for its intended purpose. Alright, so... Uh, a suit is not going to be hanging out and about like pieces of a prawn suit, right? Like like a personal suit that, that the game is just mostly given to us. Which says to me it's in one of those little suitcases. Which may or may not be in a wreck or just lying around. So I guess that's what we need to keep out keep an eye out for like that hello you're by pod 12 so you're probably already been opened yep looks like it okay I don't know what's after us but I'm not too concerned about it there's a mesmer can mesmers mesmer you inside these I don't know let's not find out Okay, that's definitely the sound of something that way. This is the edge of the bulb zone, as it were. So let's let's keep to our our little zone. You're so mobile now. It feels so good. It's occurred to me that I brought a bunch of little batteries. I didn't bring any big batteries to like recharge the suit itself. So we need to head home before we hit, like, 50, probably. See, we're seeing, like, lots of scrap. That's about it, really. I'm 
I'm not seeing any actual wreckage or even the little boxes. All I know is that it's very dark all of a sudden and I don't like the noises I'm hearing. Alright, that's just a normal enemy. It can't really do anything to us. Back up here. Okay, cool. Oh, here's some stuff. Okay. Oh, hello. Uh, you don't want to know how long I've spent stumbling around in the dark. We're only 200 meters down, and I'm pretty sure it should be day right now. But it's still pitch black in here for some reason. But hey, this is a big wreck. Hopefully, it actually has what we need. I mean, we don't need the suit as much as we needed the grappling hook, but it would be nice to have. How do I get in here? Is there a hole in the top? Not really. Okay, well, there's gotta be something. This is one of those where it's like a door somewhere? Uh, yeah, like there. Okay. Very disorientating. Uh, I suppose this is a way in. Great. Uh, that's something we can cut open. That's not the cutter. Uh, are you nothing? You look like something. Oh, there we are. The charter, and what are you? Please tell me you're something. No, you're nothing. Okay, well... Uh, I've just completely ruined my hop bar. One... Five... Okay. Just more snooping. Another battery. It's, it's helpful, but it's not what I wanted. Yeah, this is not what I would want. Ooh. Can I come out through here? No. Okay. I guess because there's stuff in the way, technically speaking. Oh! What are you, buddy? Hey! Did I really take a bathroom break right above the diving suit? Also, uh, how do I get out of here? I thought this was the place I'd already been to. It's not. It's a place that's only accessible through this vent, as far as I can tell. Which means we may suffocate to death. That'll be fun. I don't think that's happened before in the playthrough. You know? Out, out, out. Okay. Okay. Time to head home. Pod 6. I don't think we've seen Pod 6. How did, how, did this not send out like a signal or anything? Okay. Well, what have you got? Uh, nothing. Okay. Cool. Flares. I'll take. Lead. Huh. A PDA. Integrating new PDA data. Okay. If it weren't for storage concerns, I would just consider abandoning the Cyclops altogether. We should be able to uh, rescue it now that we've got this grappling hook. Reinforced dive suit. Reinforced with synthetic fibers to reduce incoming physical and thermal damage. Reduces physical impact velocity by approximately 50%. Rated for temperatures up to 70 degrees. Not invulnerable while wearing this suit. Well, it's good enough for me. What are you doing? You were gone so long. I thought you drowned. 
Put the flare down. I was going to try and attract someone's attention. That's not a distress flare. Stop waving it around like that. You'll catch the fuel line. Okay, then. Board of directors. It's not about money. It's what every director on Otella's board had told me, and I believe them. Profitability is just an interim measure of success. Power and status are the real goals. I, I would not think any board of directors would seek long-term gains over short-term profits, but, you know, this is a fantasy universe. Make enough profit for Alto Accor, and you'll be recognized by the most powerful business people in the universe, establish a company that obliterates the competition, and after compulsory buyout, you can be promoted to the board of directors. Free use of company phase gates. Personal assistance for every facet of your life. Longevity. Aut automatic organ replacement. Oh, that's always nice. Charter, definitions, um, no transgo shall engage in population abuse. Yeah, I don't know about that, Chief. I'm not, I'm not going to read the, like, terms of service. Coral tubes. Genetic resemblance to the giant coral tubes encountered elsewhere suggests evolutionary divergence approximately 100,000 years ago, when this subspecies being substantially lower in calcium content and specializing in growing in smaller, denser packs at deeper levels. I don't know what it is about this planet that makes things evolve at much faster rates than they would on Earth. Alright, and with a little bit more blood for the blood god, we have a reinforced diving suit and diving gloves. Do we need to? Yeah. Yeah, sure, why not? We've been wearing the radiation suit minus the helmet for a while now, but radiation isn't really a concern anymore. It's not like we're handling it with the aurora fixed and us not using uh, nuclear power. It's, it's not really a concern. So yeah, let's, let's retire the radiation suit for now, except not really because I don't really have any room to retire it. Yeah, just shove it in there. Why not? But yeah, we're, uh, we're set. I guess. The prawn suit's ready. Our suit's ready. Now all that's left to do is go rescue the Cyclops and venture forth. See you next week.